In a small, serene village nestled amidst rolling hills, there lived a humble and contemplative monk named Soji. He was renowned not for his strength in combat or the sharpness of his words, but for his ability to handle hurt and adversity with a calm and compassionate heart. People from distant lands would come to seek his wisdom when they found themselves wounded by the actions or words of others. One day, a weary traveler named Koshi arrived at Soji's tranquil temple. Koshi's face was etched with pain, and his heart was heavy from the harm inflicted upon him by someone he had once trusted deeply. He knelt before Soji, his eyes brimming with tears, and sought his guidance. Master Soji, Koshi began, his voice trembling. I am lost in the turmoil of my emotions. Someone I held dear has hurt me in ways I could not have imagined. How can I find peace in the midst of this pain? Soji offered Koshi a seat and a cup of fragrant tea, then sat in silence with him. The wind whispered through the temple garden, the leaves rustling softly in response to its gentle caress. After a while, Soji spoke, his voice as soothing as the breeze. Koshi, he said, imagine a river flowing through a vast and ancient forest. This river has carved its way through the terrain for countless centuries. It has encountered rocks and obstacles, but it does not become bitter or seek revenge against the earth that impedes its course. Instead, it flows around these obstacles with grace and patience. Koshi gazed at Soji his heart beginning to open to the wisdom of his words. Soji continued, When someone hurts us, it is like an obstacle in the river of our life. We can choose to resist, to become entangled in anger and resentment, or we can flow around the hurt with understanding and compassion. By doing so, we do not let the actions of others define our own inner peace. Koshi nodded, tears streaming down his cheeks. But how can I find the strength to do this, Master Soji? Soji smiled warmly, his eyes filled with compassion. Strength, Koshi, is not found in resistance or retaliation. It is discovered in the depths of your heart when you choose to forgive. Forgiveness is not condoning the hurtful actions. It is releasing the grip of anger and resentment on your own soul. It is the path to your own freedom. In the weeks that followed, Koshi visited Soji's temple regularly. He immersed himself in meditation, reflection, and the practice of forgiveness. Slowly but surely, the pain that had once tormented his began to lose its power. Koshi found solace in understanding the pain that might have driven his wrongdoer and in choosing compassion over bitterness. One day, as Koshi prepared to leave the temple, he turned to Soji with tears of gratitude in his eyes. Master Soji, you have shown me the way to heal my wounded heart. I am forever indebted to you. Soji, in his infinite humility, replied, Koshi, it was not I who showed you the way. It was the wisdom within your own heart that guided you. Remember that the capacity to handle hurt with compassion resides in all of us. I merely illuminated the path. With a heart at peace and newfound wisdom, Koshi departed from Soji's temple, his spirit lifted. He knew that life would continue to present its challenges, but he also knew that he now possessed the inner strength to face them with serenity and grace. And so, the story of Soji and Koshi became a testament to the profound truth that one can handle hurt with wisdom and compassion, transforming pain into a source of healing and growth.